A little earlier, we heard President Obama tell 60 Minutes how the chance of getting Osama bin Laden outweighed the risks of last Sunday's dangerous mission. And now we want to hear how the president managed to keep the world's biggest secret. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has that part of the story. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Rebecca. You know, when you're president, you always have to be able to juggle a lot of things at the same time. And as President Obama told Steve Croft on his exclusive 60 Minutes interview last night, that sometimes means keeping secrets from even your closest aides and your family. After you made the decision to go ahead, you had, like, this incredible weekend. You surveyed the tornado damage in Alabama. You right. took your family to the shuttle launch. And this was all going on, but you knew what was going to happen. Yeah. yeah, I made the decision Thursday night, informed my team Friday morning, and then we flew off to look at the tornado damage to go to Cape Canaveral. Congratulations! To make a speech, uh, a commencement speech, and then we had the White House correspondence dinner on Saturday night. <laughs> the presidency requires you to do more than one thing at a time. This was in the back of my mind uh, all weekend. Just the back? Uh, middle, front. <laughs> was it hard keeping your focus? Yes. Yeah. Did you have to suppress the urge to tell someone? Did you want to tell somebody? Did you want to tell Michelle? Did you tell Michelle? You know, uh, one of the great successes of this operation was that we were able to keep this thing secret. And, I, and, and it's a testimony to how seriously everybody took this operation and the understanding that any leak could end up not only uh, compromising the mission, but killing some of the guys that we were sending in there. Uh, and so very few people in the White House knew. The, the vast majority of my most senior aides did not know uh, that we were doing this. Um, and, uh, you know, there, there were times where you wanted to go around and talk this through with some more folks, uh, and that just wasn't an option. And we're told that you can count on one hand the number of people who actually knew what was going on, Rebecca. It's really incredible, Bill. And you've been covering the White House for almost 30 years now. How tough is it to keep a lid on something this big? It really is very difficult to keep a big secret because there are so many people usually in the loop. But sometimes you can make a surprise move as president. For example, Ronald Reagan was able to land troops in Grenada. That was a surprise. The first George Bush was able to put U.S. troops in Somalia. But as far as we know, there's been nothing this audacious since Jimmy Carter tried to rescue American hostages in Iran. And, of course, mm -hmm. that failed. And it seems almost more incredible this go-round, Bill, with the YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and all the social media out there that reports things constantly. CBS's exactly. Bill Plant, we appreciate it.